My name is Karen Nacevedo. I'm a pediatric nurse practitioner. I am currently affiliated with UCSF Fresno Pediatric Pulmonology Group in uh, the Central Valley of California. But most of the time we end up having to refer out north or if they are willing to go to CHLA down south. Um, so it, it, to me, was going to empower me to just increase my knowledge base and try to answer some questions that a lot of the families had during our uh, one-on-ones and, and clinic visits. Opening, I think it's very valuable to have patients who are now themselves um, educators or willing to participate in these series because they can tell us uh, firsthand their own experience with the medical system and how they've had to essentially advocate for themselves and say, no, there's something wrong with me or please check this up. Um, and not just brush off like recurrent pneumonias or recurrent chronic issues that uh, don't necessarily mean they're normal or like uh, abnormal. But I think that was very valuable and just the openness of the specialists who are themselves subject matter experts and willing to break down all of the questions that we had and never felt made us feel like they were dumb questions or um, anything silly. Uh, I really felt like the program welcomed anyone at any level of knowledge. I think um, you can re-listen to a lot of the lectures if you get stuck on something, but it's broken down so well, um, even with the summarizing footnotes at the end that were sent out uh, following presentations that it made it very easy to just uh, brush up on something that you didn't catch during that session, but it made it where you could ask all the questions that you wanted. Um, we had some case series presentations and I was able to share one in particular of a patient that's just been very hard to decipher. So it was a really good uh, way to just say, this is what is, has been done. What do you think we can improve on? And then the next steps. And it was all done not to say that their immunology team did not have the capability to do so, but just um, to expand on like anything else that we can do for that patient. New NPs or new MDs that are coming into the practice, like they obviously can always benefit from just easy charts, easy uh, summary tips and resources. We also have a pediatric residency program that does have a, a good curriculum and sometimes can also benefit from the resources that uh, the program provided. Um, these patients have a hard time getting in with their primary care doctors or providers, and they end up going to urgent cares, and some of them don't talk through like the EHR network. So you're trying to uh, unite all of these different charts, all of these different visits, and see which ones are true. Uh, pneumonias, which ones were just colds, and then painting that picture for the immunologist. And then at the same time, telling the patient, hey, this is your background. This is what I think is, is going on. Um, we're going to do these tests because of X, Y, and Z. And then um, once they see the immunologist, a lot of times they have follow-up questions. And that's where I thought, I think like the ECHO program really helped me um, out is because they would have these follow-up questions where like I, I could email your immunologist but if I felt more comfortable um, knowing that and then describing it to you then I know I've done a good job of refreshing my own knowledge and then that way they can get their questions answered as well. <music>